Christine Van Gein with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation and I want to tell you why Doug Ford's plan to cut Toronto City Council in half is a good idea. Yeah, I know, I know. There are a lot of haters out there lighting their hair on fire, saying that this is the end of the world. But the fact is, taxpayers should be rejoicing. Cutting City Council down to size is going to save you money, it's going to make City Hall work better, and it's democratic. First, at a minimum, this move is going to save taxpayers $25.5 million. Even the Toronto Star says it's more likely to save about $30 million. And that doesn't even include expensive savings like pensions and the startup costs for new wards. And it definitely doesn't include the savings we'll see by having 22 fewer city councillors with their own pet projects like the Jarvis bike lanes that were built and unbuilt or municipally owned golf courses that are a total money vacuum. Second, Toronto City Council will become more efficient. Right now, meetings are completely bananas. They last for hours and for days. Last week, there was a City Council meeting that went on for five days. City councillors will make votes at 11 p.m. worth millions of dollars. They'll spend as much time debating a tree or a traffic light as they will debating a multi-million dollar contract. It's time to streamline council and get rid of some of these hour and day long talkathons. And third, this is the right move for democracy. A lot of people out there are complaining it's happening a few months away from an election, but the reality is that if the election proceeds with the 44 planned wards, we're going to have a really uneven distribution of population at City Hall. With 47 wards, some wards are filled with 28,000 people while others have 70,000. That gives a far bigger voice to some people living in some communities and a smaller voice to people living in others. With the 25 ward plan, wards will be closer in size, giving a bit the same voice to the same number of people. And the fact is that they're going to mirror federal and provincial boundaries, which are established by an independent and nonpartisan body. Hell hath no fury like a politician who's been told there are going to be fewer jobs for politicians. But don't be fooled by their self-interest. This is the right thing to do.